These lovely eyes belong to Scout, the hoi horn or horse. Scout is a pony who lives here on a small lifestyle property with his horse and people friends. Horses and ponies are the same species and have a long history of companionship with humans. They will often form loving and rewarding friendships together. Being the guardian of a horse is a big responsibility, so it's important that we learn how to care for them. Feeding your horses a healthy, well-balanced and nutritious diet is one way you can help them to stay healthy and happy. What's the best thing for horses to eat? Well, horses are herbivores, so they eat plants and plant-based foods. The best thing for them to eat is grass from a healthy pasture, but you can give them a little bit of hay as well. What about grains and horse pellets? Yeah, so sometimes your horse can't get enough nutrition from their pasture grass, so it's best to talk to the vet and ask them what else they might need, and they might ask you to feed them some extra food. If you do need to feed your horse supplementary food, make sure you store it in a dry, shaded space. Horses can become very unwell if their food gets mouldy. As a healthy pasture makes up most of their diet, it's also important that you manage your land to ensure that there's always enough grass for your horses to eat. It's a good idea to separate your land into different paddocks, then move your horses to control how much grass they can eat and give the empty pastures a chance to grow. This is called rotating your pasture. Are there any plants that horses can't eat? Yeah, unfortunately there's quite a few common plants that are poisonous for horses. They're okay for us though, like stone fruit, tomatoes and potatoes, but they make horses sick. And there are some weeds that grow in their pastures that are bad for them, like buttercups. So do you have to check all the plants in your paddock? Yeah, you do really. Uh, and if you don't know what one is, or you're unsure, ask an adult for help, or ask your vet for advice. Finally, you must always ensure that your horses have access to a good supply of clean, fresh water. Some adult horses can drink up to 50 litres a day. That's half a bathtub. So it's good to have a large, heavy trough that can't be tipped over and an automatic tap that keeps the trough full. But remember, you will still need to check it every day to make sure it's working and there's always plenty of water. Ensuring your horses have all the food and water they need to be healthy is an essential part of being a responsible horse guardian. All horses should live in a suitable and comfortable environment. A horse's home affects how they feel, think and behave. Providing your horses with a nice place to live is one way that you can make sure your horses stay healthy and happy. How much room do you need for a horse? That depends on how many horses you have, but they need lots of room to move and to exercise. I thought it was one acre for every horse, is that right? Yeah, one acre or more. They need yeah, as much room as you can give them. Remember, you will also need space to grow enough pasture for your horses to eat. So before becoming a horse guardian, make sure you seek advice from your vet or horse care professional to make sure your land is suitable. You will also need to make sure your fencing is sturdy and safe. Horses are very curious and strong animals. If they get out of their paddock, they can often end up injured or eating poisonous plants. Alright, now for the fun job. You guys know what these are for. Pick up the food. Yeah, that's right. Horses can do up to 12 poos a day, so if you don't clean up their space a few times a week, it gets really mucky. So, off you go. Keeping your horse's space clean will also lower the chances of them contracting parasites like worms, and also help reduce the amount of flies in the area. Your horses will also need some form of shelter to protect them from the sun, wind and rain. Out in the field, shelters can be large trees or hedges. Very hot or cold weather can make horses unwell, so it's important to keep an eye on the forecast and be prepared. If you're concerned your horses are getting cold or uncomfortable in the weather, you can give them a horse rug or jacket to keep them cosy. Providing your horses with a safe and comfortable place to live is a great way to show them you care. Horses, or hoi-ho, like Scout here, can make great companion animals. 
As their guardians, it's our role to ensure they live long, happy and healthy lives. So it's important that we learn how to best look after them. So grooming your horse every day like this gives you a great opportunity to make sure that they're healthy and that they're not injured. You can check their eyes and their nose and mouth are clear. It's a good way to make friends with them too. Yeah, absolutely. It's great bonding time. If you're kind and gentle, it'll help you to gain their trust. And then you can do important things like clean their hooves. Cleaning your horse's hooves is an important part of basic horse care and should be done often. This can help you spot problems like thrush. Your horse's hooves will also grow over time, much like your toenails. So you will need to get them trimmed regularly. A person who trims horse hooves is called a farrier. When it comes to an animal's health, prevention is always best. And if you do think they're unwell, the sooner you get them help, the better. This is Abby. She's a kaimanawa, which is a special New Zealand breed from the wild. Unfortunately, Abby is suffering from a common health problem called laminitis. We noticed Abby was standing and walking funny because she had some feet, so called the vets. Oh, that's so good that you called them straight away yeah. before they got too sore or too hard to treat. Is the medicine working? Yep, she's feeling not to rest and she's getting better. Oh, it's so good to hear. Vets that specialise in caring for horses are known as equine vets. Even if your horses are healthy, they will still need regular visits from the vet to give them vaccinations and medication to prevent diseases and parasites, and to trim their teeth. Unlike your teeth, horses have teeth that keep growing and growing. If they get too long, they can make it hard for your horses to eat, so they need to be checked every six months. So another really common problem with horses that you need to look out for is colic. And this is when they get a really sore belly and it can be mild or it can actually be life-threatening. So if you see your horse rolling on the ground and not wanting to get up or kicking at their bellies and looking distressed, that's when you've got to call your vet straight away. How do we stop them getting colic? Well, you can make sure that their food and water is always fresh. And if you're introducing new foods into their diet, you do that slowly. And just make sure that they don't eat too much too fast. Ensuring your horses get regular vet checkups and getting them help immediately if they start showing signs of being unwell is a great way to keep them healthy and happy. Scout and his friends are horses, or hoi ho, so it's important that they get to do the things that horses like and need to do. Allowing your horses to express their natural behaviours is one way you can help them to be healthy and happy. Our horses love to run around. Yeah, that's why it's important to give them lots of space so that they can exercise and express natural behaviours like playing and running. A horse who can't exercise is an unhappy, unhealthy horse. One of the most important natural behaviours for a horse is being able to graze. This is when they move around, nibbling at different grasses in their pasture here and there. Horses can spend up to 15 hours a day grazing, so they need plenty of space with plenty of grass in order to do this. Is it normal for a horse to roll around on the ground? Yeah, so it can be a little bit surprising seeing a horse get down on the ground and roll around, but it's a completely normal behaviour. It's like they're scratching an itch on their back. Yeah, maybe, or maybe they're feeling excited or relaxed or just having fun. Allowing your horses to express their natural behaviours is a fantastic way to ensure you have happy horses. Horses are very intelligent and emotional animals that deserve to be happy and feel safe. Taking time every day to care for your horses and learning to understand their needs will help you to know how to prevent your horses feeling scared or stressed. Horses are prey animals, so they're always on the lookout for potential predators and will often startle and run away at the first sign of danger. 
You will probably notice that your horses can often get startled by anything new or loud entering their environment. Horses that feel threatened or scared will attempt to run away, or if they feel trapped, they could even try kicking, stomping or biting. For this reason, you should always be careful when you approach your horse. Always make sure they can see you coming and that you're quiet and calm. Do you need more than one horse? Yeah, horses need other horse friends to feel safe. Naturally, they live in groups called herds and they like to play and groom each other. Horses can get quite stressed and lonely if they're all on their own. What if they're friends with other animals? Yeah, you do hear about horses being friends with other animals like donkeys, chickens and even cats. But they really do need another horse friend to feel safe and to be able to express their natural behaviours. No one understands a horse like a horse. Because horses are so intelligent, they can also get very bored if they're stuck in one place with nothing to do. Make sure you never leave your horses tethered or tied up for long periods. Remember, horses naturally love to move around and exercise helps to keep them happy. You can also keep their brains exercised by giving them new and interesting things to explore and sniff. Just make sure they're safe for your horse. Do horses really like people riding them? Yeah, some do, but others not so much. It's all about your relationship with your horse and their past experiences. So you really got to trust each other? Yeah, absolutely. It's all about building a relationship of trust and respect. If you do choose to ride your horse, it's important to have the help and guidance of an experienced adult. You will need to start out very slowly and make sure you have all the right equipment so it's a positive experience for your horse. Providing your horses with a stress-free environment and caring for them with kindness and respect is a great way to show them your love.